Hi guys, welcome back to Journey to Bushcraft. Today is a bit of a different video. Uh, I'm doing a review of this Swarzy uh, jacket. It's the Wapiti um, Swarzy jacket. Um, basically how I've come to have this in my possession is uh, on Facebook, the social media website, um, a company called Bushcraft International uh, go check them out, have a look at the web page and that, really good guys. Um, they were doing a like and share competition uh, to win this jacket. Now, this is probably, uh, I, I don't normally do that kind of stuff, but I thought, well, wow, Swarzy jacket, I'll, I'll give it a go. And fortunately for me, I, I, I won. Um, words cannot express how excited I was when I won. Uh, that's probably why it's took, well, one of the reasons why it's took so long to do this, this video. Um, Firstly, I want to thank those guys from there because uh, since I won that, obviously, um, we've had back and forth communication and stuff, and they're really, really good guys, really sound. Um, and we in sort of a, a day of winning it, uh, it was arriving over, so they must have sent it pretty quick. Um, right, onto the jacket. Now, Swarzy, every, quite a lot of people in the outdoor industries and you know bushcraft world and, and whatever else swarzy has been made famous by um, Mr. Mears and Woodlore. Now these jackets, uh, I, I've googled them, I didn't know much about the jacket apart from I know Swarzy um, but I didn't know very much about this particular jacket um, until I sort of googled it after I'd seen the, the uh, competition etc. So I, I looked at it and I thought wow that's pretty cool for one, it's not the over the top, it's a zip jacket, a full zip jacket, and I thought, wow, that's brilliant, because I'm, I'm not so sure on the, the over the top ones, it's uh, not my favourite sort of way to wear a coat, but um, yeah, I like to be able to do the full zip. So the more and more I looked at Swarzy and read up on them and whatever else, uh, it, it, it really is a fantastic bit of kit. Obviously before that, it, it's always been out my price range. Now. These aren't the cheapest of garments, and I kind of wanted to do a, a good field test, really, where I've had it a few weeks in rain, cold, uh, you know, really sort of frosty mornings and, and, all, and all that kind of stuff, um, before I could sort of give you guys a review on it and, and talk to you about my feelings on the jacket itself. Um, overall, firstly and foremost, I'd like to say, you know, that... It is a very expensive garment and it's something that I would never have been able to afford to, to go out and purchase or justify spending that money on that um, just for someone who partakes, you know, when I can, uh, getting outdoors. For someone who does this on a more permanent basis and is out a long time and whatever else, I would definitely say, yeah, it's a great piece of kit and if you can um, sort of justify spending that money then it's worth every penny. But I couldn't because I, I haven't got that kind of money spare. I'm not going to tell you how much it is, you can all Google it and, and whatever else and you'll, you'll find it online and stuff, but it, it is a great piece of kit. Right, so down to the review. Um, it's got on this on this breast pocket here, Bushcraft International, the guys who um, run the competition, obviously had this embroidered on. On this it's got Swarzy the name. Um, I'll start off with the pockets and, and, and what, and the, the, the fit. Um, it's got two, I can't just remember what they call it, sort of the cartridge pockets, uh, the cartridge box pockets I saw at the side. They're really good size, I mean, they're, they're massive size, you can fit quite a lot in there. Um, it's got one of those on each side, and it's got the hand warmers there. The one thing that this jacket is missing is the breast pocket pockets. Um, I would say that that would be more beneficial if it had those, a pair of binoculars or, or whatever, but um, you know, beggars can't be choosers, I'm over the moon with what it is and it's great. Um, it's got buttons down the front here and a zip underneath it, um, which is one of the big sort of heavy duty, uh, I think it's the YKK one, zip. It's got an inside pocket here uh, that's Quite, quite a good size as well, not quite a map pocket but it's, it is a good size. This storm flap is an oversized storm flap so it kind of goes across and then folds back on itself there. 
so there's, there's no chance of wind or, or rain getting in there at all. Um, it is fully waterproof uh, and I'd, I'd say pretty much bombproof. Um, the material's great as well. Um, all the specs with the materials etc they're all online I'm, I'm not going to go into detail with them um, it's got velcro cuffs there which you know cut out the wind inside here it's got a, a cuff that goes onto your wrist to stop the wind uh, to minimize the wind uh, getting up there and uh, getting the chill let, letting the chill in um, yeah so that's that's great also it's got a a good size collar at the back and the stone flap goes all the way up to here now this has got the buttons and at the top it's got a velcro flap that goes over and basically shuts the elements out keeps the elements out and keeps you nice and snug inside um, it's got a wire peaked uh, hood that I'll, I'll show you in a second it's got um, buttons that go right down to the bottom. I keep the bottom one open because I like the sort of freedom of movement uh, but if you're static or whatever I'd, I'd, I'd do that up. Um, it's got the slits. The slits at the side about two inch slit at the side uh, which makes it easy to access a knife. It's not got a zip or anything like that but it is sort of it's there and if I, I had my knife I've got it on the belt at the moment but if I had a dangler attached to that it'd be easier to get to it as well but it is perfect to get to it. The fit itself, um, there's plenty of room, there's plenty of room inside. Um, I was a bit worried at first because they kind of said that he thought that it was a, an extra large that he had, and I, but he wasn't sure uh, on the size now. It's a large um, and it's, it's great, it really is. There's tons and tons of room inside this. I've got a t-shirt and a wool shirt on underneath here uh, and I've got bags of space. I'm dead warm, everything's great. Um, it really is comfortable, can't say enough good good things about it. Um, right, okay, onto the hood. The hood's a good size hood. It's peaked, wire, uh, wire rimmed at the top there, so you can adjust it to however you want it. Um, the one thing that I would say is with the hood, I'll just, I'll just do the front up. Yeah. So you can get a good view. So there, that's me done up. Velcroed up. Um, there, I can cinch this down to get everything nice and snug inside, uh, and it's got the toggles on there. So, and, and it's got a good, good view there. So, I, I can see all the way around to sort of at the side here with the peripheral vision. So, it is really good for stalking if you're start static and you're looking for animals or just wildlife watching in general. Um, it is good for that, so you can keep the hood up uh, to hide your face almost. The hood does roll into itself. It's got a few couple of clasps at the back that you just sort of book, uh, button over. Um, inside, there's no inside pockets or anything um, apart from the one that pocket at the front. It's just got the, the waterproof layer. Everything's taped really well. It's quite. It, it's, it really is waterproof. It's people know swords it's great um, the, yeah the only one sort of downfall that I would say about the hood is that I kind of like it so that it would be a bit more uh, just a bit longer at the front just to hide you that bit more but then that would take away from the peripheral sort of the viewing at the side um, I noticed that as I was walking if you don't have it pulled down snug it tends to it tends to rub a bit um, on, on your sort of forehead area um, with the with the wire peak and the stitching is. But other than that, it, it's not a fault. It's not something I would say don't get one because of that because it really is great. Um, but that's the only sort of down, downfall that that I would say about it. It really is a great jacket. And if you can afford one, I would say yeah, go and get one. If you can afford that money, that they are they are they are worth it. They are really built uh, quite robustly. Um, so once again, I just wanted to say that you know, thanks to the guys at, at Bushcraft International, and thanks to Swarzy for making such a cool jacket. Um, I'm over the moon. I've worn this now for three and a half weeks, I think it is, since I got it. Um, it's brilliant. It really does keep the rain out, keeps the warmth in, uh, but lets you breathe as well. Um, obviously, I'd, I'd layer up properly 
um, inside to keep you know keep your your body temperature regulated, stop you over heating and sweating. Um, but that's it. This is the Swazi Wapiti jacket. Um, it's a great piece of kit, and I, I hope this helps for people who've seen it or, or have seen them online and they're not too sure. Um, I'll give you a back view of it. That's uh, from the back view. It's got, oh, it's got quite a long sort of tail as well. It goes over your bum. We're sitting down. Uh, keep your bum dry when you sat down. Uh, quarter length jacket. So I think it's a great piece of kit. I'm really fortunate and glad that uh, it's now in my possession and it'll serve me serve me good for quite a long time. So hope you found this useful. Uh, have a look at their stuff. You know, uh, Google it. You know. Um, and once again, thank you very much for watching and subscribing and liking and, and all those kind of really good comments that I get. So, hope you found it useful and see you in the next one. Cheers.